This is the range of motorhomes from Illusion for 2020. The van I've got in front of me, however, is a um, prototype which uh, hasn't yet been uh, introduced to the market. Uh, it says on it, it's a world premiere of Welt Neuheit. And, uh, well, to a certain extent, it's a bit different to what they normally do. Because they, if you can see here, this is on a Mercedes Sprinter. And the other vans in their collection are on a Fiat Ducato. And they have rather particular layouts which one uh, doesn't really see uh, in other vans so much. Now this has got one or two things which you don't see in other vans. It's 85,000 euros and we're gonna see what, the, the, what peculiarities it's got. 718 centimeters by 235. Height is 285. Payload in excess of 700 kilos. 700 kilos, I'm back to check that. Have I made a mistake in my mathematics? I have indeed, sorry, 2,850. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that was, so that should have been 650 kilos. Oh, well, okay, it wasn't up by that much. Um, right, I've got my glasses on, so I can actually see. All right, so, fusion. It's a fusion from Illusion. Right, so as you come in, you've got this table here. Uh, it's a L-shaped sort of lounge place for your feet. You've got these double beds at the back. Sink, uh, the German layout, which is I'm now calling it. Um, it looks much uh, neater, I'd say, than even in some of the more expensive brands. Um, here we've got a ledge. Uh, onto which we'll put the uh, extension to the bed. And the ledge, you see it comes out like that. I won't do it now, I won't put the whole thing out. You'll just have to imagine those, I'll have to, I'll have to uh, show this bit first, really. You've got this storage, you've got these, this chest of drawers. Sorry. Space down there. Oops. This so oh, it's been blocked by something. Wardrobe there. That do. That's your light. Show up here as well. I think a mirror does make it seem much bigger. Fridge. Now, the kitchen here layout is uh, somewhat. I put original uh, molded sink. Got these two burners from Can, which uh, is now appearing in lots and lots. An Italian company. Uh, they uh, actually those worked in marine things before they went into uh, motorhomes, and uh, I think they're having difficulties in the marine business. But I know it's been acquired by a French company, and uh, a friend of mine's a managing director, so I, he was tell he was telling me all about him. And uh, anyway. But you do see them in lots of uh, vans now. Right, show you down here. And Can has this very unusual, uh, very unusual, very distinctive way, style, and way of doing things. Well, I really like these things. I mean, I've got one in exactly the same position myself. Uh, you can cover this with this here you see but this it's a it's a prototype no 
Now they have this the same bathroom in many of their vehicles, uh, but this is quite uh, it's quite curious and quite original because the shower is very it's very deep, so um, you can fill it with water and you can sort of sit. Well, you, want, you can't really lie in the shower, but you can sort of sit in it. Um, you can get yourself uh, wet up to about 20 centimetres. Here they've put a um, duck board in, and I'm always on about duck boards, but a duck boards and passageways there, it's absolutely not necessary. I do like this, the sprinted layout. Right, here we have place your bottles. That's what, it's sort of Spanish, so you want, might, what, might want to keep your wine in there or your cans of beer. You've got more storage below that as well. Right, this, as I say, is a prototype. Uh, but what do you think? I mean, lot, lots of people want Mercedes van conversions. Maybe you think it doesn't quite look right on a Mercedes, or maybe you think, yeah, that's great, like the colours. Um, I think the, the, the light here makes it seem much, much bigger than it really is. And, oh, I... Yeah, look at that. Look at all that space. Look at all that light coming up there. Isn't that good? I'm going to walk back here and sort of correct that. Yeah. Yeah, that looks better. The Mercedes Sprint is the platform that most people tend to want. Um, it is, of course, much more expensive than the Fiat. And I've got to say this, though, that there's nothing wrong with the Fiat as a uh, motorhome, uh, as a base vehicle. It's uh, easy to drive. The, the, I find that the Mercedes is, is a bit, uh, bit heavier. Personally, I prefer that to have a Mercedes, but... Um, it's, there's not that much in it, in my opinion, and so for having having driven them both, for me, I really find the difference as being between the automatic gearbox and that of the manual, uh, m something which re really uh, bothers me much more than being Fiat or Mercedes, and I'm one of these very unusual people who wants a manual gearbox right i'm going to take you around see the garage now so it's uh it's quite a big garage you can see you can get easily get a couple of bikes in there at least there you are. got my bag in there and fusion 690 There's your gas cupboard. Oh, there's a light here as well. Always handy to have a light in the garage. Boiler's down there. I missed the boiler because my bag was in the way. Okay, right. So you can see some of these other vans in other videos. These two I've got here. Uh, on the left now, the 590 FT and the 590 are particularly curious. Six meter vans, which have a, a lot of space inside. Six 
So if you found that of interest, please uh, do uh, subscribe. And indeed, um, if you get any benefit from what I do, do consider giving me some support on Patreon, which would be very much uh, um, appreciated. Thank you very much for watching.